Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacolas Workshop. Uh, in today's video we're going to look at lapping the waves on the Unimat SL lathe. Hi everyone, so um, if you've watched the series on the restoring of the uh, SL lathe you would have heard me spoke about um, uh, my intention to try and lap these waves. Now I'm not trying to bring them down to any specific size or, or anything like that. Um, I'm the, the sole intention is just to try and make them, there's a few, few sort of bumps and uh, sort of uh, on on the um, on these round ways that have uh, sort of uh, arrived over the um, fifty to seventy years that it's uh, been in existence. Um, so uh, what I've done, um, I've made a little. Um, uh, all I've done is just got a block of aluminium, um, bored a, a, a hole or put it in the four jaw bored a hole in there, sort of very, uh, very dodgy slot there, just with a handsaw, filed off the edges, and I filed a couple of little, uh, or one, two, three, uh, little grooves in there, um, <clears throat> and I put a little indent here, just to locate, I, I found this old clamp, um, and the plan is to put that, there and then I can tighten it up to to pull it uh, a little bit tighter if I need to, um, and then that will slide over slide over the over the ways and we'll put some um, lapping compound and we'll put this into the lathe. Um, now uh, I'm going to hold one end in the uh, in the collet, and I've got I think I've probably showed you these before. These are just a, a very lots of small um, uh, little sleeves really that you can fit into a collet um, if you just to get a, a better fit so I've got one that works just fine with this so that's great um, so that's good one thing let me just get, get to show you now originally I was going to use this old uh, uh, nozzle lapping paste. So this is from uh, CAV. It's when um, many moons ago I used to calibrate uh, fuel pumps and um, so we would do the actual fuel pumps and the injectors. Um, and there were three. There's fine, uh, medium and coarse. Now I was going to um, use that but I've, I actually watched uh, Mark, Mark Presling the other day doing some lapping and um, he was talking about these uh, diamond lapping compounds, so I, I managed to pick some up on um, online um, and thought I would go with that because I wasn't really sure. Um, from when I originally said I was going to do this, uh, I'm not. I've now probably come to the conclusion, other than um, it looking a bit nicer and feeling a bit nicer. I'm not sure it's going to make too much accuracy or difference to the lathe but um, I said I was going to do it so we'll, we'll have a go um, so what I'll do is um, I'll uh, go and set this all up in the lathe and then um, I'll show you how, how the setup I've done and then we'll, we'll do some lapping okie doke so I'll be back in a minute Oh yeah, just one, one other thing before um, I go and set this up. What I've done is I've marked here and here with a bit of a marker pen because these, in, I mean I've got to hold the, this somehow in the in the lathe, um, but these aren't actually a surface, this part and this part, that um, uh, either the, uh, the, well effectively what's the saddle, or the tailstock, um, slide on so these will be uh, this area and this area will be the areas that I will be holding it in the lathe okay right I'll go and get busy at the lathe back in a minute hi everyone so we're uh, we're all set up on the lathe now so I've got a um, 
collet, the collet in uh, the uh, headstock, at the lapping block, and we've got a, a tailstock um, chuck fitted, um, and I've taken the uh, uh, the compound slide off, and I've just covered the waist to ensure that I don't um, get anything on there. Uh, and and one of the things I've ensured is this won't should for, for any um foreseen reason get caught it won't hit anywhere along the along this shaft so you know I've been pretty cautious on that one so i think we've uh we've warmed warmed the mifid up but um i've got it uh got the mifid going so i'll um it's a bit hard to yeah trying to do this with the camera anyway but let me uh let me try and uh get things going Now what I did was I applied some um, some WD uh, forty to the uh, the shaft before I um, sorry I'm trying to think and talk I'm not that good at it um, so I applied some WD to the shaft to ensure that uh, there was some sort of lubricant on it and I applied uh, the, um, the lapping compound to the lapping block. Now this is really, I mean I'm in the world of unknown here. Um, it's feel, it feels quite smooth up and in certain areas you can feel it um, get just sort of there. I can feel it. So I think, I think this is well, my desire that it will start to uh, just take those edges off that might be there. The other, th the other thing is I'm not sure whether I've added too much of the compound, the lapping compound. Um, one of the things you obviously you have to remember is where you've got different levels of grit, you can't. Um, You, if you start off with uh, a coarser one, you can't use the same block with finer stuff. So you'd have to have multiple uh, multiple blocks. Now, uh, what I've so I've tried to pick something middle of the road here. Okay, well this is not exciting to. Uh, TV, <laughs> exciting YouTube stuff. So what I'll do is I'll carry on for a while and then um, I'll show you how I've got on. Okay, so I'll be back in a little while. Okay. Hello everyone, so um, I carried on with that. Um, well, I, d I didn't show any more because of the, I mean it was just going up and down with the, uh, with the lap. Um, as far as results are concerned, it's definitely a win in as much as I can't, just cannot feel any any lumps and bumps on, on here now. So that that is, yeah. Where, whereas I could feel before, and this is I haven't done this one, and I can feel. You can feel different places along here where that where the little bumps are um, sorry I'm just trying to see the screen yeah so I can feel here and and that's how the other one was and, and it's uh, it's definitely gone so from a six from trying to achieve uh, making this more parallel or easier to run along I think we you know we've had a success from the finish point of view I think we've had a giant failure actually now the only thing or what I would say will be a lesson learnt will be that if, if you are going to attempt this I would use a 
really um, fine, either make a couple of lapping blocks and, and you know if you've got lots of dinks you, that you need to try and get rid of then um, use a coarser one and then drop down to a finer one um, or if you've, you're only going to make one then I would definitely just use um, a, a finer um, a diamond paste and just you know accept that you're gonna be there for quite a while just trying to bring things down um, so what I'm gonna do and I'll, I won't film it because it would just be the same I'm gonna make another lapping block um, and use that on this one the one I haven't done but I will just just go over this one again slightly just to see if I can bring the finish up again get it a little bit better Ooh, sorry um, because it, I know no, it doesn't make any difference really but as long as it it's nice if it looks nice um, so uh, I will try and do that um, if anyone's got any suggestions or you know please please uh, please uh, put them in the comments because um, yeah, it's been very interesting actually. The setup and the life worked quite well. I had no problems with um, the the lapping block getting in the way of anything. Um, so that that was uh, quite good. So I was quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, so that's really about it on this uh, lapping thing. So as I said, I'm going to do this one uh, and just revisit that. See if I can just get the get the finish up a little bit better um, off camera and what I will then do is from then on we're then in the situation where we start reassembling it now um, so what we do is we put the uh, the head stuck on tail stuck on we put the uh, cross slide on we can get all those things done so we can we can get this whole thing built up to um, a situation that the only thing we need to do is sort out the uh, the spindles or well, yeah yeah so um, and I've actually got three of them one's the watchmakers one and the other two are just standard ones that a chuck uh, screws onto so we're um, we get all this back up together and then we start to address we'll work through the uh, well we do probably just do one of the spindles so you can um, see what I do there and I also need to do the electric motor there and we'll, we'll have a look at that as well okay so uh, that's about it for today so uh, as always uh, stay happy strong and healthy and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one cheerio